Que lo que mi gente, it's your boy Dio. Thanks for tuning in for another one. In today's video, I will be reviewing this Milwaukee leather cool tech vest that I got from Leather Up. I'll be talking about the features, but I will also be reviewing or testing its most featured or most promoted function, which is that it's supposed to keep the rider cooler up to 30 degrees cooler in the summer heat. But before, let's get right into talking about all the features of this vest. Now this vest is a club style vest, which means that it has a wide back and I'll turn around for you guys to see right now. Basically you can put all the patches you need in here. It's basically club style, so you can put anything you want. If you're going to stitch patches on this, it does have the zipper for the liner, right? So that way they can kind of don't have to stitch over that, which is pretty important for me because then that's, it just looks really bad when they stitch over the liner and it's just kind of ruins the liner, especially if you have a custom vest with a custom liner, that's really important to have. There's no collar either, so it's a little bit more comfortable when you're riding. I actually prefer the collarless look. Um, I feel like with the collar, it just kinda, it kinda hurts the neck a little bit. I don't know about you guys, you can comment in the section down below if, if that's the case or not. Um, but I really do like the design. The leather feels amazing. This is this high quality naked leather, so it feels super supple to the touch. Basically really nice leather. It has the YKK zipper, so these are gonna be pretty sturdy. It does feel nice. It doesn't really, you know, get stuck or anything like that. Um, these don't have the buttons, so if you're one of those that rides with the uh, vest extenders, this might not be the vest for you, but um, I feel like it's, it's enough, right? So. Let me see if you guys can kind of see this right now, but these have the, like an accordion on the side. So it does stretch a little bit as you're riding or as you're sitting down for those of you like me that have a little bit extra in the midsection there. It does have a reflective little line here right, right, right around the shoulder. At night, if you're riding at night and, and uh, the lights reflecting on you, they can kind of see that you're coming um, aside from your headlights, of course. Let's continue. It does have two gun pockets. They're pretty deep, one on each side. It does have, for those of you that still run a wired headphone like the wiring so you can kind of loop the wires into the vest you don't have to kind of let it dangle all over the place now aside from any additional features i mean it does have two front pockets which are nice and deep they're not like shallow they are zippered so you can kind of keep your belongings there zipper them up and you're good to go it does have two front pocket zippers as well for even extra more storage and uh last but not least the cooling function now, again, this cooling function is supposed to keep the rider up to 30 degrees cooler in the summer heat. My initial first impression before you guys see the rest of the video is that it does keep you cooler. I did feel cooler when I was riding with this versus my cut. I did test out the, the cuts with a uh, thermometer inside, right? So I took a, like a control test inside the, uh, the house. And as you guys can see from the footage now, I tested the cut, my cut and I tested this vest and they were both basically equal by about 0.1 degrees. Um, so it wasn't much of a difference. That was the controls to make sure that the bo both vests were actually reading the same temperature. But let's get right into the other part of the review where I actually test out the cooling function. So stay tuned. I'll be riding to Orchard Beach, which is about, it's about a, uh, I would say a 10 minute ride. All right, so I'll let the vest warm up a little bit and when I pull over, I'm going to take out the temp meter and test the temperature and see what temperature it reads. Then at that point, I'll switch over to the other vest. Catch this light real quick. I'll switch over to the other vest. I'll ride back home or actually, actually I gotta go to Target, pick some stuff up. So I'll ride to Target and uh, I'll test the temperature there before I go into the parking lot, which is which is shaded. Just pulled over, it was a pretty quick ride. So now, taking out the digital thermometer, and let me, let me show you guys so you can see from this angle what I'm doing, right? So, taking the cut, 96 degrees it reads. Let me choose another part of it, 95. 0.5 so it's within 0.5 degrees let me do up here 106 right so the ones facing the sun is a little hotter so let me turn this way and stand for like 
we just let it sit for a minute or two and it's such a beautiful day too this is uh this is orchard beach guys after memorial day this thing they start charging for the parking lot is eight bucks but it's a uh, beach handle core they got all, they got it all over here it's pretty cool all right i feel the vest getting super hot already <laughs> so let me test the temperature out i'm going to choose i guess right here 97 let's just another spot 97 let's try up here 103 so so up here it tends to be a little hotter so let me try up here by the shoulder yeah at 100 degrees by the shoulders 99 so all right so yeah so about 100 degrees let's just average all those out so now i'm going to switch over <coughs> to the other vest which is right here and then let's see how much cooler that is so let's go change oh by the way guys rocking my little Omega over here if you guys didn't know I am a watch fiend all right and we're out let me pull over right here since uh, we have uh, got a few minutes that way nobody really bothers me uh, all right okay all right so let me uh clarify something this this vest is definitely not an ac or something i am still hot in it um it is hot out here so it's not like uh with this vest you're gonna magically just be cooler but we'll see we'll see what the temperatures read remember the average for the other one was 100 you guys watching right on the vest 95 okay it's basically reading the same 95 uh, I mean the leather does feel cooler to the touch so maybe it's getting my body temperature too nope 95 degrees so right now we're getting an average of five degrees cooler we'll leave this one like this so we can let's see if they gather the heat because i was in the wind right so i mean let's let's cover all the bases here guys all right so they're both basically steaming in the sun let me go sit down here for a little bit uh it is 1106 and uh yeah we'll pick it up in like five minutes let me let them bake for five minutes all right guys close enough to five minutes Let's go ahead and test this out. Definitely feels cooler. 116.9. 111. 120. 106. Let's try another one up here. 115 and the sun 109 all right guys you saw the results Let's go back inside and talk about that all right guys well there you have it so we tested it in the sun it ranged about five to i would say 10 degrees cooler in some spots um again that's a little bit misleading because i personally felt a lot cooler when i was riding with this vest versus my mc cut and I don't know why, maybe, you know, the, the digital thermometer was just reading the surface temperature. Um, it's supposed to keep the rider cooler. All, all of the booklets I found and the information online, it says it keeps the rider cooler up to 30 degrees, not the actual vest itself. Um, so I guess it does reflect the heat and it doesn't transfer the heat into the inside, uh, which is what keeps us a little cooler. Now, the actual surface of the temperature uh, of the vest was actually five to 10 degrees cooler, depending on where I kind of scanned. And you guys saw that I was testing it there very, uh, try, I tried very thoroughly. I don't know if the thermometer that I was using was adequate for that. Um, that's actually a, one of those baby thermometers that I was using, um, that I had around laying around the house, but I tried my best to kind of give you guys a very accurate representation of what the features are and, and how it performs. Now, definitely the vest feels great. It does feel cooler. It's very comfortable. Like I mentioned before, I love the leather. Um, it's very soft. So I will probably be using this as a secondary cut for the summer, just so that I can have a, 
an extra one just to kind of switch out when it's really, really hot out there because trust me, I've written in 90 plus degree temperatures and it's not fun, guys. There's, it's a lot of humidity. You're sweating bullets, especially with a full face helmet that I usually ride with. Um, so anything that I can get my hands on to make the riding experience a little bit more comfortable for me is a go. And even if it's five degrees on the surface, but I feel much cooler personally, then I'm gonna take that guys any day, any day of the week. So listen, if you guys found this video useful, or if you guys wanna check this jacket out, make sure to go to leatherup.com and use my discount code BXP20 for 20% off this vest. Now this vest is already on sale. If you put the code in, it's gonna be even cheaper, so you'll be saving a lot of money. Please make sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to hit that like button if you like this content or if you wanna see some future content that's similar to this one. And feel free to, sh feel free to share, guys. Um, this discount code is not limited to just you. If you have friends or family that uh, would benefit from a vest like this, then make sure to share that. Make sure to share it on your Instagram. And, um, and yeah, guys, thanks for the support. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.